Hey everyone, I'm Sister Lily and welcome to my armory. So, I have a long awaited review. Well, long overdue. <laughs> yes, um. <laughs> and we have one side of the packet, other side, the back showing all the different, showing all manner of cool different things so we get to see Celestian. Like, I like the idea of Celestian's domino dominions or, um, normal battle sisters. Also, that dominion, the one with the bald head, looks like she might have been part of a Repentia squad for a while, because in some orders, and they actually shave the hair of the Repentia. do is just open this. Um, it was meant to have that many bases in it, or not? Yeah, it's only got one cherub. Okay. So you have the funky instruction book, which can go to this side. We have the transfers, which go on all manner of parts of the model except the pauldrons. I kind of liked it if they'd done the pauldrons. And we have Sprue 1. Let me just check something. Oh, nice! Two separate hand. The banner part actually is two separate um, designs. That's actually really cool. That also allows for a lot of cool things to happen. Um, some of which will be elaborated on later. So we've got plenty of... I mean, this kit comes with four melter guns, four flamers, and four storm bolters. It should have come with five storm bolters. <laughs> but at the same time, it's a massive kit with lots and lots of parts. It comes with enough heads to whip like three squads. <sighs> and you know that's going to happen. <laughs> Anyone who's followed my channel long enough knows that the multi-squads is going to happen. Yes. Yeah. So that's for one. Sprue two. Now, I do like that they actually provide unsheathed. They provide a sheath for a power sword the option for a chainsaw to be sheathed, um, the, as well as, I think there's a sh unsheathed chainsaw here somewhere. Did I spot it on the first sprue? Is it on this one? <laughs> I've probably looked straight past it on this one. But yeah, like, I love the fact that there's some sheaths on here. Um, and a chaplet, yep, she's holding up a chaplet. Um, underarm bolt gun. It's like, I'm just pointing out some neat parts on here. Um, like, I'm loving all the head sculpts that come with this kit. There is a lot of heads. Like, with my attributor set, I pointed that out before, that there was a lot of heads in that set. Um, and this one rightfully comes with more. <laughs> At least I think there's more. Um... So we've got the bolt pistol from the superior. We've got the plasma pistol, um, condemnal bolt gun, and next we've got this spring with funky scoped bolt pistol, um, storm bolter, bolt gun, bolt gun. Cherub parts. Now, there are a number of people that don't like the cherubs. I kind of agree. The cherubs are a little vat-grown mutanty thing that um, I agree with the dislike of. Um, pardon me. I'm looking through this, looking at the side of my camera screen and not getting a good image, so I wasn't quite sure.
but yes. It also comes with um, 10 32mm bases and a 25mm base for the um, cherubs. So, I will get back to you guys once I've built this. Please stick around. Okay, and so now they're built. Now, I had a little bit of a problem as I was painting them. I lost the cherub. <laughs> Uh, I can build a replacement easily. I've got a spare one off an exis off the exorcist. Um, but yeah, I basically chose to go for building these as um, a two five woman squads so as two five woman squads, so as I'd have two battle sister squads. Now I know I already do have a sizable sister battle force, but it's um, so always good to have the official models. Who knows? I might be restricted in fielding them somewhere. Not that I plan on playing anywhere that restricts them, but you never know. So I chose to glue the cherub off the other simulcrum onto the back of her to represent that this squad has a cherub, since this squad has a simulcrum. Um, I've also chosen to go with the unhelmeted head because I wanted to have a targeter. I apologise if the light isn't looking very good for these. Um, there's not much I can change about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe that'll look better. Um, yeah, the simulcrum's an awesome thing. I chose to change around the arm so she didn't have the bolt gun on a strap here and instead had the um, bolt gun under her arm. And just kind of, I tried to paint the simulcrum so it looked like wood and I don't know if I succeeded but at least it looks good. Um, now I had wanted to sculpt custom bases for them and do a tutorial on it, but well, my milliput didn't arrive in time, so yeah. My first attempt at, sculpt, at doing a recorded sculpt of the bases for them didn't work so well, but that happens. We have the storm bolter. Now I'm going to put these on the turntable in a moment just to Going to show them better, but here's the Sister Superior. The Heavy Flamer Sister, I chose to go with the Gas Mask Head, because I just figured it would probably look better. Um, my Heavy Flamer is no wind, is prob no, probably not going to go back to it, but the Melt Gun I kind of want to go back to. Um, that being said, I'd rather not go back and paint things that I've already kind of painted. Um, these were kind of as together as they um, were going to be. So let's just put them on the tripod and just remove the box so as we have a white background behind them. Just turn the light that way so as it's more visible. So, this is a little jewelry to turntable I picked up off eBay. Pretty useful for showing off models. Not very powerful though. I'm apprehensive about putting a tank on it. Um, let's go the Storm Bolter, Bolter. Heavy Bolter, Sister Superior, and Bolter. I basically I just liked that model for a Sister Superior, so I found an arm that worked and went from there. But yes, yeah, you can see how they're working, and they look pretty good. I'll just pull the camera back a bit. Um, I've got a whole lot more. Um, models I want to do. Well, I've got a whole lot of Sister Battle stuff that I'm going to be doing videos on eventually. I just kind of had to pack up because I have to move. So let's just put Sister Superior. So let's just find one who's just normal and standing with nothing under her foot. Heavy Bolter Sister. Let's put her next to one of my converted Heavy Bolter Sisters, who she dwarfs. Put her next to a guard officer. She's still taller. 
Um, we have a Commissar who's only as tall as her because of the base he's on. We have a Metal Commissar. Now it's going to turn the other way. <laughs> um, now I would have liked to have um, shown these off with the other models that I've um, done some unboxings on, but the, I've packed them up, unfortunately. Um, but these things happen when you're moving. Um, most I can show at the moment of the um, Hospitalia that I'm yet to unbox is her book arm. <laughs> I need to find her bag and put that in there. Um, and we have a gene stealer um, biophagus who's converted into a doctor. So he can be a doctor of death or he can um, heal you. And I mean, he is actually a doctor character. We have an old um, dialogus and an old hospitalia that she's about the same size as. So, yeah, GW did not get the scaling particularly good. Um, I mean, what do we expect from them? But at the same time, it would have been nice if they got the scaling right. And had to actually had them be scaled to the old sisters, because the old sisters do not scale with most of their human stuff. So I'm just going to put the priest from last year not last year, the police. Well, actually, did Blackstone come out last year? Just put her next to the priest. Um, and her next to a metal sister. Shows the real size difference, doesn't it? I'll just put one that's more dynamically posed on there. Now, the wings um, look so much better on camera. <laughs> They're painted pretty much just with Corax white over a black base coat. Um, might have put some Celestra Grey, is it, that I've got, or is it Administratum? One of the two, and it looks awful. Um, we have them next to a Dusty Crusader. Now I need to go back and clean these guys up and get the fluff off the shields. I'm not sure how, it seems to just all pervasively stick to the shears. Now actually, let's do one size comparison. Since it's sitting on my desk in a very incomplete, in a early paint job state, we have The Exorcist. Now this isn't going to be on the channel until, in the video until probably November. It's hilarious, I've been working on it since February. Um, but that happens. I'm not caring about unit coherency right this moment. But we have them around the exorcist. And yeah, that's how they're coming along. Um, maybe Flame Assister. Cadian Heavy Weapons Team, if anyone cares. Did I have a funny weapon fighting away here? Probably, but probably not at the same time. Who knows? Yes, I did. The joy of pre-moving your everything's in a mess now. Like what I find truly really hilarious is Primaris Marine, regular sister. Actually, let's find one that's actually got her standing. Is there one that I've got that's standing properly? Sister. Like <laughs> they're not much taller. Anyway, let's just put all those back here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If not, well, sorry, I can't help you. Um, this may be my last sister battle video for a little while because I'm moving. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.